Hello everyone, welcome to another FAQ video. In this one we will be talking about the so-called soft go-around mode which has just popped up in the Tolis A321 NEO aircraft. Now this uh, new feature has been implemented in the uh, real aircraft not too long ago and um, the reason for this is that the NEO engines have um, a huge amount of thrust that um, when the aircraft is light can lead to substantial climb rates um, and then again when you apply toga thrust quite a large um, acceleration force on the aircraft and so to take out the dynamic uh, from the go around procedure uh, which does cause uh, a lot of, um, of high workload for the pilots and also maybe some discomfort to the passengers uh, feeling that uh, large acceleration. So Airbus has decided to come up with a new function called the soft go around function. So let's uh, dive straight in and have a look at uh, how the function works and how it is actually activated. So the soft go around function provides uh, a lower thrust setting for the Torga power and that ensures a reduced acceleration and uh, also a uh, reduced pitch up requirement and the resulting climb rate will be between 2000 uh, to 2300 feet per minute depending on the aircraft model. So the order flight system will compute a thrust target that enables the aircraft to climb with about 2000 feet per minute and that is based on things like environmental conditions, aircraft gross weight, the speed of the aircraft and of course the slats flaps configuration. The thrust target is sent to the far deck of the engines, so the full authority digital engine control and the engines uh, will then apply the calculated at optimized thrust uh, once the AA function is activated via the thrust levers. Now the function doesn't um, activate automatically, that has to be induced by the pilots and is uh, being done as follows. So the procedure says that at first pilots will have to select the TOGA notch with the thrust levers and so the primary flight display will go into the normal modes MAN TOGA SRS go around track can also be NAF mode if it um, activates automatically um, and the auto thrust blue setting. Now comes the important part. Within five seconds of selecting TOGA power the thrust levers have to be put back into the flex MCT notch in order to activate the soft go around mode. If you wait longer, this function is no longer available. And also if you put the thrust levers inadvertently into the climb notch, then also the, uh, the soft go around mode will not be available anymore. So in the TOLIS, uh, be careful with that. So if the thrust levers have been set into the flex MCT notch within the five second, uh, limit then uh, you should see the following um, primary flight display annunciation man go around soft SRS go around track which can also be NAF and again auto thrust blue and this should then result in a climb rate of around about 2000 feet per minute now if for some reason you are in doubt that the climb rate is enough just select uh, toga power again with the thrust levers um, it is still available at any time the rest of the procedure is uh, the same as a normal go-around. So at the go-around thrust reduction altitude, uh, the pilots will set the thrust levers uh, to the climb detent and then the man go-around soft disengages. Uh, you will see thrust climb on the primary flight display annunciation. Uh, also the climb modes engage, so open climb or manage climb. And also the auto thrust then becomes active and so auto thrust displays in white. So then you go through the normal acceleration phase, you retract the flaps accordingly, um, just like the normal go around procedure as well. So let's now quickly have a look uh, at the system in practice. And for this, we are in the approach uh, towards Salzburg airport. And as you can see, we are now fully established. Checklist has been completed, but now we decide to go around. And as mentioned before, you have to place the thrust levers into the flex MCT notch within five seconds to then get the soft go around mode function activated. 
And there we go. Now we have uh, MUN go around soft uh, and still SRS go on track and auto thrust blue. So here we have the autopilot still engaged. So the autopilot will now pitch up uh, to the correct uh, value to maintain about 2000 feet per minute climb rate. Uh, you of course will have to retract the flaps one notch and once you have positive climb, put the landing gear up. And then once we reach the acceleration altitude, we'll put the thrust levers into the climb notch. And there you have thrust climb now, open climb and done uh, NAF. Right, the rest of the go around procedure is flown normally. And uh, so that concludes the video. That's all there is to say about the new soft go around function of the A321neo here in the Tholis. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, and hit the bell so that you get notified when I upload a new video. I would also like to mention that I do live stream on Twitch about three to four times per week, starting usually around 1800 UTC. And so maybe I see you then. Uh, otherwise, uh, as always, thanks for your support and have happy landings.